So let's talk about football for a bit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Thank no you. One. How's football changed since you were a player? I, I, I don't know. Didn't know it did. I thought there was a goal up that end and a goal up that end. <laughs> well, there's VAR know, for a start. That, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's probably changed. You, you're, yeah, your I friend mean, the, game's, the game's probably got quicker. Yeah, probably got quicker because they've probably got they've gone for fitter players now. Yeah, I think you know in when I when I played, I thought it was you had to pass the ball first, and then you, you had to be quick, or you had to be an athlete, and then you had to be quick. I think it's. All the other way around now. Right. So it's I all think about you have speed. to be quick, strong, athletic, and then if you pass the ball, you're like one of the best players in the world. Right. I, in my, in, you know, yeah. in, my, in my, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, I think you know, you know, you, you look at, you know, you look at people now and they're getting accolades, and people forget about players so quickly. Do you know what I mean? It's like people go, I mean, could you play now? How would you, how would you be now? And I always throw it back and go. How would the players playing now be able to play when I played? You know, it's a different game. You know, you get kicked from pillar to post. You know, you take a lot of bad knocks. You know, it is different. Yeah. I like I like watching it now. Don't get me wrong. I like I love it. I, you know, I watch it. I love it. it. It's it's quicker. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing that they're, they're for seeks. Uh, you know, look look at Carl Walker. You know, he's like 32, 33, and he's still lightning quick. I mean, Ooh. that is, you know, you've got to give him credit. You know, t for someone who, who would work, work, work to keep his pace. Do you know what I mean? You don't just get up in the morning and go, because, you know, a lot of footballers over time, the one thing that goes is their pace. You know, that's the first thing. Your legs go. You know, you get up one morning and you're like, whoa, where are they gone? Yeah. But he is like, for me, I, I just think he's an absolute credit. I like that he could keep that pace. Yeah. And, and people go, yeah, but... but there's been other people who are quicker than him, but they're not as quick as him now at his age. So yeah. that, that tells you every football fan and everybody, he looks after himself and he works on, on, on certain attributes. Mm. You know, so for me, you know, that's where the game's changed. Yeah. And what about the commercial side of the game? Do you think that's changed in any way? In, in what way? Well, how much money is in the game? Uh, of course, all the big wealthy owners buying the clubs. Yeah. Uh, They've got to be earning. The clubs are making it to give them the money. Yeah. You know, this is everywhere. You know, I was in Florida in the summer, you know, and the football's on and the Premier League's everywhere. You know, wherever country you go to, the Premier League's on. It's the, I think it's the, the biggest marketing thing in the world. Yeah. Product in the world, you know, is the Premier League. You know, the money, wow. Yeah. I mean, I think certain players get too much. I'm not going to lie. I think they do. But I think the top class player, I don't think they get a lot. I don't think they do. I think. Right. I don't. I don't. Yeah. You know, people go on. Who people should be paid more then, do you reckon? I don't know. You know, people like Kevin De Bruyne, for me, is like one of the best players in yeah. the world. Yeah. Now, if he's on 350 grand a week, what is the problem? Yeah. You know, let's be honest. You know, Tom Cruise gets probably 40, 50 million pound a film. Has he ever won an Oscar? No one says anything. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger gets, how much does he get for a film? Yeah. You know, but no one ever says anything. It's like, oh, it's all right. They, they get that because they'll get it back in the cinemas. Well, so do the, foot, so do the clubs for mm. the players. You know, I have no problem. Good luck to them. You know, good yeah. luck. It's a short career. Mm. It is. I mean, you can earn 200 grand a week. That's 100 grand after you slash that 50 off. For tax? When, yeah, yeah. When they went... No, for drink and drugs. <laughs> what causes it? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Could be agents fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, so you take that off and then you... That's one you know, all, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And then you, 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 like, you, 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 you take that off, then you cut that in half. Still a lot of money, but you live that life. You live that life. You know, if you're getting 100 grand, 200 grand a week, you live a 200 grand a year, lot, a, a, a week life. Do you know what I mean? You're going to you know, gold Rolex or whatever, or a nice watch, or you're gonna have a lovely car that all costs money. At 30 years of age, you're 32, because the one thing this has done, the Premier League and how quick it is and everything, you're not really playing till you're 36, 37. You know, your Milner's might and a couple of others, but you, you know, and Walker, but it'd be rare you're gonna get players playing at, like Ryan Giggs did and Terry Sheringham at 37, 38, 39, or even 40. Mm. So. Say 32, that's it. But at least you'd like to think you've got another 50 years to live. Yeah. It's a long time. And a short With career. With no trade. Yeah. No trade. You know, no trade. You've got no, you're not like, 
you come out and you go, well, I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm an electrician or I'm a builder. They're not. Mm. You know, I never, you, you know, my hands are like, I'm not being horrible like fairy, I could do fairy liquid adverts. I could. I mean, I, I've never done, never done a day's work in my life. I'm very, very humble and very grateful. I'm, you know, I shake some of my mates hands or other people and their hands are like rock, literally like, wow. Mm. Like the bottom of someone's foot, if you know what I mean. They're like <laughs> rock hard. And, and that's where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. You mm. know, I know people go, oh, you, well, how are you lost all that? It wasn't the money, you know, it was the addiction. It wasn't the money. I wasn't, mm. you know, it doesn't matter how much I, people go, oh, what about now if you'd have earned two, three hundred grand a week? I'd have done it. Yeah. I'd have done it. You know, mm. if I earn 200 grand a week, I'm not having a 10 grand, I'm not having a 10 grand double. You know what I mean? You're going to be having 50, 60, 80 grand bets. Because wow. what's, what's the buzz if you're not going to win what you earn or more? Why would you even bet? Mm. And that, that's the compulsive gambler because there's people listening and go, who have their five pound bets, first goal score, and they're not compulsive gamblers. Yeah. You know, they're not compulsive gamblers. That's exactly, you know, my, my way of thinking would be, I'd have a bet, it would win, and then my first reaction would be like, should have put more on, or I should have put that team in with them. It's, you're never happy. Yeah. You never, it's always, could have been more, could have been more. And I think compulsive gamblers understand that, but. There's a lot of people out there. That's why I wouldn't go around saying, ban gambling, ban gambling. No, there's people that can gamble. Yeah. You know, they can. My problem is the bookmakers know the ones who can't gamble. And oh. that's, what, that's what it does. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. I don't know if you know, but I have more YouTube channels, including shorts channels, so make sure you subscribe below. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.